you're gonna need a strainer to drain your rice because um, I let mine soak overnight. I'll give you a little tip about that. Measuring cups, measuring spoons. You're gonna need a pan to get the rice together in before you put it in the casserole dish. And of course you're gonna need a spatula or something to swirl stuff around. Black eyed peas. Now I made my own, so they're a little bit tougher than they are when they come in the can. Not that much, but just a little bit tougher so that they'll absorb a little bit more water while they're there. This is some rice that has been soaked overnight. Vegetable broth, diced tomatoes, cayenne pepper, smoked chipotle. These are red pepper flakes. Now, if you are not a big spicy fan, I would leave out the cayenne and most of the pepper flakes. You want a little bit in there, you know, a little bit of a kick. Okay, thyme, oregano, and I just have a regular chili pepper. I don't have one of those spicy, spicy chili peppers. Garlic and some chopped onion. I'm so excited. I'm going to be able to show you this fabulous recipe, Hop and John. Now, I used to be really afraid of Southern cooking because it has all kinds of fat back in it and all kinds of greasy, greasy, greasy stuff in it. And you can't keep your girlish figure. So I was so excited and happy when I found a recipe by Bryant Terry. Now he has a really great soul vegan cookbook. Um, and I took his recipe, I changed it a little bit to kind of fit my lifestyle and to fit my palate, but I want to give him the due. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drain my rice. And when you see the recipe, you'll know that it says you should soak your rice overnight. Um, really easy to do because it actually helps it cook a little faster and it actually helps it cook better with the spices. That's really why you're doing it. I made my own peas. If you're going to use a can of peas, which is fine and dandy, you're going to rinse them, but they're going to be a little bit softer than what mine are. Mine are just a teeny tiny little bit tougher than a can. And I find that what happens is they can absorb a little bit more of the, of the seasoning. The last thing is that if you are not a fan of spicy, I would leave out the cayenne completely and tone this pepper down to just a few flakes, just to give it a little pizzazz. Okay, so let's get started with draining the rice. And then I'm gonna pop it in my pan. So, darlings, you can either cook your hop and John on a stove, um, put it on a low, low simmer, and check it about every 20 minutes, or you can bake it, which is what I like to do, because then I don't have to think about it. And to bake it, of course, you have to turn on your oven. So, say it with me. Ooh, baby! You should get so hot, like 350 degrees Fahrenheit if you're going to bake it for 50 minutes. But if you're baking it all afternoon, like you're going to do stuff and have a life, then ooh baby, can you get hot enough to like 300 degrees Fahrenheit for me? I knew you could get so hot. And then you just push the button thing. Okay, darlings, I am turning this onto a medium heat and it's a very heavy bottom pan, which I really like. And now I'm putting in my rice. If you did not soak your rice overnight, you can put it in the microwave with some water for 10 minutes. And while you're getting all your other ingredients together, you can just let it kind of sit and it'll do about the same thing. Now to this, I am adding that one teaspoon of oil. I'm doing that because the rice is supposed to fry very, very slightly. Um, so it's just going to pick up a little bit of flavor. Okay, and I'm just going to flip my rice over. I want it to get pretty dry. Notice we don't ever use oil, but I just thought, hmm, this might need it just on the bottom just to crisp that rice just a teeny tiny bit so that it'll have more of an authentic flavor. All right, I can hear this starting to get a little bit stiff on the bottom and crisping a little bit. And while that's going on, I'm going to put my beans into my casserole dish and let them just sit for a minute. Also, if you haven't already, turn on your oven. All right, now I'm gonna add my onions. And I'm just gonna add those in. Now I'm going to turn down the heat because I don't want this to get, I don't mind it getting a little brown, but I don't want it to burn. So, and I'm going to add my spices while this is still crisping a little bit and cooking those onions. Red flakes. And here's my thyme, which is going to taste so yummy. 
and oregano, and I'm gonna give it a little swirl just to make sure things aren't sticking on the bottom. And now that everything is a little bit crispy and ready to rock, I'm gonna add my vegetable stock, which is also going to help me get everything off the bottom of the pan. Okay, I've turned off my heat, and now I'm going to put this and my tomatoes in with my beans. So I'm just gonna swap these two. So that goes in. Now I'm gonna add my tomatoes. Mmm, that looks good. I'm gonna stir this together, and then I'm going to put it in my oven for 50 minutes. Actually, I'm probably gonna leave it in my oven for about two hours because I really love how everything talks to each other. And it will be oh, ready. Hi, uh, Marty Davy here. Um, the Hoppin' John. Um, well, a lot of people think southern food is really like, you know, uh, really fattening and not healthy. But it, if you just get rid of the fats in it, it's a really amazing uh, style of cooking. The Hoppin' John in it has so many great nutrients. I mean, it's got lots of protein and fiber and uh, it's got just really great stuff in it. But I'll tell you the other part of it is if you've got to feed a family, you need to be able to do it on the cheap. And Hoppin' John is a boatload of nutrition for a really, really great price. Okay, let's try this Hoppin' John. Oh my God, there's the heat. Mmm, but not too spicy. A little bit of heat. Mm-hmm, it's kicking in a little bit. Yuppers. If you let this sit and bake, that rice will open up and it really has an entirely different texture. It's real tomato, oh, this is good. I'm gonna want a little water with this. Not a ton, but a little bit of water and not sparkling. When you're eating something spicy, do not drink something that has bubbles in it. it intensifies the heat, so. Oh yeah, I think I'm gonna be exploring a lot of Southern cooking. <laughs>